Okay, so I will explain this part just because it's a long story. Okay? Okay. Gato? So this is my new collection for 2020. This is an experiment to work with this material and create such a form of sleeve. I try to combine it with different texture of color. I usually I like to work with colors that are natural. So this dark brown for me it was a little bit scary because it's velvet, but. Um, it looks great. Actually, I like how it is. Some scarf or some jacket. I think. Yes. Minimal and elegant. I come from a royal family, which is a tribe of my mother called the Shuluk Kingdom. My grandmother, she used to be the queen of this tribe. And I didn't pay too much attention to this before, but it is my roots, it is my background, it's where I come from. And I wasn't talking about it so much because I wanted people to know me as a, just a normal person and pay attention more to my work. At the age of six, they were like, they were like a war in Sudan, but I didn't know about it. The only thing I knew is that I moved with my mother, sister to Cairo in order to keep me safer. So another concern that concerned me in my life is that because of the political situation in Sudan, unstable situation, uh, so the country separated into two and I was denied as a citizen. So I am without a passport and it's quite a long process that my lawyer is going to the court and trying to protect me and uh, obtain for me a new citizenship. And that's the reason I'm here in Russia for the past five years. Uh, but I don't try to take it as a negative. It is quite a scary situation to be in a foreign country without document and your government somehow just deny you as a citizen. So my mother didn't support it that I wanted to go to design school and she said this is not the career, you should go to university. But anyway, I, I was determined and I told her, no, I'm going to choose my path and uh, I have uh, chosen to study design. And then, uh, then when she saw me I'm progressing, she started to support me and uh, giving me all the support she could to do my fashion shows and exhibition. And yeah, I have a big support from my parents, absolutely. Design, for me, just my opinion, is freedom of creativity. Express yourself how you want, follow your follow your creativity how you feel you want to create. It's not necessary to follow the trend or something. For a creative person, mode for me is to express my idea without any limitation. My work is quite different than what is going on on the trend because I never looked at the trend, although sometimes I I uh, like they invite me to fashion shows and I see some work or some uh, New York Fashion Week, all this International Fashion Week. But um, I mostly pay attention to my ideas, how I want to see the woman, my lady, how she looks on my designs. And so they're quite, uh, there is no specific line for it, but I'm open to do everything like sport, casual, classic, whatever it is. My creativity is the freedom of my soul and the life and the, the thing that gives me to live a, a wonderful, wonderful life was in my inner world. 
that keeps me safe, that gives me motivation and hope for tomorrow because when I curate something beautiful, I see it, it gives me positive feeling. And that's for me is enough. Fabric for me is a is a feeling, is a touch, is a sense of comfort of uh, because fabric is like it, li it lies on your skin and it's very important you feel the softness of it. The smell, I love the smell of cotton, natural texture, but mostly, yeah, mostly I prefer the touch and the texture. I, I'm very obsessed with if it should if it's really plain, when I see the texture, I just fall in love with it. So my connection with the fabric, it's touch. My plan for the future is to make an interesting collaboration with any artist from St. Petersburg or abroad. And I hope by this time I will have my passport or a travel document. So I would, I would love to make a really awesome exhibition by 2020 and be surrounded with the people I love. So, yes. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a passion. It's undis It's not just by words. I mean, sometimes as as uh, tiring and hard process of design, but it's something like it was grown inside me. It's it's my life. It's part of me, and I can never stop. I can never say I'm tired of it. I will continue to do it because it's my passion. It's my life.